I'm Joe Dante. This is Trailers from Hell. It's Giant Ant Day. Uh, this is the picture that gave me nightmares for a number of years. I was probably only about, uh, let's see, seven years old when I saw it, and uh, it really creeped me out. Uh, it's called Them. Uh, it was a, uh, one of the first pictures to get a lot of advertising on TV that I remember, and uh, so I was very excited to see the picture, and then once I saw it, I was <laughs> too scared to sleep particularly since the giant ants emitted this sound that sounded sort of like crickets that were outside our house. And there was a big open field behind the house with lots of holes in it and stuff. And I could just imagine that these creepy crawly giant ants were coming up at night and rapping on my window. And it was very upsetting. And uh, I'm sure that uh, Warner Brothers owns my parents a lot of psychiatric bills. But uh, nonetheless, uh, this is a, um, a classic, an acknowledged classic, and uh, it has worn amazingly well. Uh, over the years, and um, here's the trailer. This is Warner Brothers' attempt to sell this picture as a regular movie. You gotta remember, at the time this picture was made, there were no giant insect movies. There, there, yes, there was a world where people did not go to the movies and expect to see giant insects. So this was really the first time it's ever been done. And the structure of the picture, interestingly, is that the whole thing is a mystery. And the idea is that you're supposed to try to find out what it is that's causing uh, all these problems. The funny thing is that, of course, the picture was advertised with huge posters of giant ants all over the place. So even, even people who went in to the theater knew that this was going to be a movie about giant ants. And yet, to this day, the picture still works, even if you've seen it 20 times, because all the material that leads up to the standard giant ant stuff is really good. Stay in your homes, I repeat. Stay in your homes. Your personal safety, the safety of the entire city, depends upon your full cooperation with the military authorities. Yes, cities, nations, even civilization itself. This is a picture that was really put together with a lot of skill. Now here is the culprit, the atomic bomb. This was, of course, the era of radiation. It was all drilled into our, our little heads in school uh, that uh, the bomb could go off at any moment. And so there was a certain amount of paranoia that was just simply associated with the whole concept of, of science fiction. And the desert always became a, uh, a sort of a metaphorical place for scary radioactive things to happen. We may be witnesses to a biblical prophecy come true, and thus will be destruction and darkness come up in creation, and the beast shall reign over the earth. This picture was, uh, cost some money, but not as much money as they thought it was going to cost because Jack Warner for some reason decided he didn't want to make this movie. It was planned to be in 3D in color and at the last minute uh, it was not in 3D and it was not in color. Uh, the last decision I think actually helps the movie because it has a certain newsreelish quality that, that I think makes it look more real. But as it's quite easy to see that a number of these scenes were designed for 3D even though not shot in them. Uh, there are no opticals in the picture. That's another uh, another tip-off that it was supposed to be in 3D. All, all of the uh, the ant props and, and puppets are real, and the idea of um, having them hide in the storm drains was a particularly brilliant one. The locations and the LA ambience of this picture are particularly good. The cast is is excellent, and uh, everybody's really good in it. But particularly James Whitmore, and if you uh, if you see this movie again, if you check it, you just watch James Whitmore. He does all these interesting things to steal scenes. He, he's, there's hardly a scene that he's in that you're not looking directly at him because of some gesture he's making or some something he's doing that's, that grabs your attention. Jack Warner uh, ended up uh, not being too prescient because uh, even without 3D in color, Them was the uh, biggest picture of the year for Warner Brothers. They never would have made this picture if it weren't for the success of The Beast of 20,000 Fathoms, but this one topped it in, in all departments and is a genuine, bona fide classic. Mm -hmm.